So what is the best way to study Chinese in China anyway? I interviewed three ladies, they're gonna share their experience, the good, the bad, and how much it costs. Hi, my name's Kui Zhou, I'm creator here at elementarychinese.com where I help you learn the everyday Chinese you need to communicate what you want. And this is a sponsored video by the good folks at China Matters, giving you good information about how to study in China because it's kind of the future. You should go to China. I'm going to France. I'm from the future. You should go to China. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm here with Jess. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How do you study Chinese? So basically, I use a WeChat group called Everyday Chinese. No, you have to be really nice since it's my group and okay, everything. Okay, we'll do. What's the best about studying in online in a WeChat group? Well, the thing is for me, so I clearly have a baby, um, mm -hmm. but I also have a three-year-old too. And it's really hard to have like a structured time, like a class or something that I always have to go to at a certain time. Um, so it's convenient because then I can just do it whenever and I can put it on mute when I'm busy with the kids and then I can go back and read all the messages okay. and ask whenever I can. And what would you change or improve about the group? So, okay, there's yeah. six different themes. So for me, I would probably get rid of one of the themes Ooh. because I okay. don't really need help with that situation anymore. Okay. Right. Um, but that's like pretty specific. There's nothing else I could do better? There's nothing else that I can think of. Perfect! Thank you, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> and how much does it cost to study online in it's a WeChat group this 125 way? 125 a month. A month. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Of course, this is a little bit of a selfish promo because it's my group, but that's what I do. I'm here to teach you the everyday Chinese you need to get what you want. And we do rotate through six themes and we do a little bit of pronunciation practice plus a live call, which I'm... I don't have my watch, so I'm gonna kind of be late for it. I study Chinese um, here at a university in China. I really enjoy the structure of the classroom and having a safe environment to talk to a teacher, um, to ask questions, and to be held accountable for learning vocab and characters and things like that. What I wish could be better about studying in university is um, just having more practical, real-life conversation, not just memorizing things that might be useful in the future, but are actually useful in my day-to-day -day life. Was that okay? I felt like I was more nervous on that one. Yeah, like now you're all nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm in Tianjin, China, and my university costs per semester 7,500 kwai, which is about 1,500 US dollars. My favorite thing that I'm looking forward to this semester is just seeing my friends from this past year. I've studied for one year and so I've been able to make some solid friendships with Chinese friends that I've been able to practice with, but also to just have real life friendships with them returning back from holiday it will be really a sweet reunion. I'm here with Jamie and she's gonna share how she studied Chinese. So how did you study Chinese? With a tutor. What was the best thing about studying with a tutor? I liked it because things that I already knew, I could just go faster and kind of skip over the things that were easier for oh, me. Yeah? And then things that I needed more help on, I could just spend more time on those and ask her the questions that I needed. Did you go to the, her place or did she go to your place? She came to my house, which was really nice. And what about materials? Did you use hers or yours? We used her materials. She had she had books that she recommended for me. What would be better about studying with a tutor? What would be a big challenge for mm. somebody? Sometimes if your Chinese isn't that good, like at the beginning, it can be kind of hard to... Really? You, well, I think you just have maybe so many questions, especially if your tutor doesn't speak English or your native language, uh, it could be hard to kind of feel like you're filling in the gaps of trying, okay. your, your brain is working really, really hard to understand what they're saying. And so I think that it can be really tiring at the beginning. Like my brain just felt like it wanted to explode at the end. <laughs> really? All right. And uh, how much did a tutor cost? Around 50 kwai an hour to come to my house. That's cheap. It is cheap. Yeah. It's, it's definitely, it, it was definitely a good price. What other methods were you using at the time that you had your tutor? Because I always tell people, don't just pick one method, but combine them. I think I was using, um, I used Pimsleur at the beginning. Uh, the very first, maybe three or so Chinese lessons, I would just... Pimsleur. Pimsleur, That's yeah. an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. I'm going to link that one up below, by the way. So head down to the descriptions and find out more about Pimsleur, Pimsleur and how people reviewed that on Amazon. Yeah, Pimsleur was great though. I could just put in my headphones and just walk around and repeat after them and just start like listening to, to myself and just kind of practicing. So Pimsleur and I think 
I may have also started using Anki at that time and just like the flashcard decks, the beginning, um, you know, starting with the first, you know, one to 50 characters mm -hmm. and then 51, 100 and just working my way through mm -hmm. learning the most high frequent leasing characters. Question of the day. What way do you think is the best way to study Chinese? Leave a comment below. Again, my name is Kuejo, Elementary Chinese. Go down there in the descriptions and come over to my channel if you want more videos that help you learn Chinese. And if you want to watch another video from China Matters, click or tap the screen right there. Till then, good, good study. Day, day up.